for them pounds. Hope it don't come crumbling down. Already told them that the world is ours. Looking for thirty now. Motive isn't earning pounds. Man are gonna turn it down. Got the game cornered off. These man are just learning how. Boy, you talk a lot. On the real, who's talking now? New day and I'm calling shots. Gal, them I ain't calling. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Senegal versus the Netherlands. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Mane. Diallo. Back with Mane. Well read to ease the pressure. And a look at the starting lineup for Senegal. Sheku Kouyate starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And teammates to play it to. Sixteen. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Here's the starting eleven for the Netherlands. Jasper Sillerson is the goalkeeper. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. Davy Klaassen starts alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Beautiful pass. Saar. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The pie. Well, we have seen signs of an improvement by the Netherlands recently. The question is, are they in the conversation when it comes to teams who might win the World Cup? Of course, when we think of the Netherlands, we all think of that great team of the 1970s, headlined by Johan Cruyff. Well, I also covered the Dutch in 2014 when they did so well to get to the semi-finals but since then they've had a torrid time in competitive competitions but they are getting better they've got an old coach back i think they do okay in this tournament nicely timed tackle now who can he play it to Daily blitz and the pie on the ball. A really sumptuous ball. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Pule Dia. Kuyase now. And given away. The pie. Klassen has it. Now that pass easy on the eye. And diving to thwart him. Let's see about the delivery. The clearance wasn't decisive. The pie. De Jong now he must favour the cross can they forge ahead well he stumped it out of there without much fuss so Pule Dia 
Return to Saar. Intercepting it intelligently. Using his strength to shield the ball. Berghaus. Frankie de Jong. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, they couldn't keep it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Saar. Body in the way. And support available. Are they going to forge ahead? The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Playing it in. What an absolute waste of a corner. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Mane. Mendy. What a creative look about this. Dangerous looking through ball. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Dumfries. Here's Berghaus. A danger here as he runs at them. Clattered away. Excellent defending. The pie. Depay. Memphis Depay! Safe pair of hands, did his job. Dumfries. And snuffing out the danger. Mendy. Dia. And he has options available. Dumfries. And close but offside nonetheless. Standing at 1 0. Kuyate moving the ball forward with purpose. But the danger averted for now. Frankie de Jong. Ake. De Jong. Yuri and Timber. On to De Jong. The pie. That is that for the first half here. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway.
saw. A real opening now. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Daily Blitz. Breaking at pace. Tremendous intuition to win it back. He could pick out a teammate. Menzi. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Regain possession. And do they mean business on this occasion? Kuyate. to play in possession magnificent challenge to win it back counter-attacking very much an option well it fizzled out Klassen he takes aim making sure it didn't get past him Berghaus textbook defending inside the box well he was dreaming of scoring but ruled offside well it all happened very quickly so I wouldn't criticise him too much at least he was in there well, in the perfect position to read it Dia, and he takes it away well we have 30 minutes to go Steven Bergwijn still on level terms moving the ball nicely must take the lead here Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Needs to tread carefully. And it wasn't really the ideal pass. It'll be a throw. Kuyase. And a throw in forthcoming. Kuyate. Now Gay. Menzi. And a chance to whip it in here. And cutting inside. But a good piece of... The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Steven Berghaus... Virgil van Dijk and here is Malassia goodbye and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end 20 minutes to go Saar Ake Timber now with De Jong. Malassia. 
And they need to get tighter. The delivery towards the back post. Applying vigorous pressure. Frankie de Jong. Malassia. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. And time for the change now. Well, as you can see, they've done everything in terms of creativity. They just need to finish one of these chances off to take the lead. Ismail Assar. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Virgil van Dijk. The pie. Might be able to set up the chance. It has to be. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Who can he pick out? Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Ismail Assar. Mendy. Well, he's given us away. Must be! And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team a draw here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Klassen. Really getting stuck in. De Jong. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Real chance. But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be. They've lost it. Gay. The pie. And he read it well. The pie. Can he put them in front? Oh no! He's failed! Pressure. Well, chances don't come much better than that, do they, Derek? That might be their last chance to win this game. And intercepted it. Mane. On to De Jong. Tension building still level. Astonishing drama. So back underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Shielding the ball superbly. Sabali. Tremendous intuition to win it back. De Frey. And there's the final whistle. The Netherlands have won the game. And teammates to play it to.
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the United States versus Wales. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Oh, blocked it! Well, the U.S. women's team are the most successful side in World Cup history, having won the tournament on four occasions. Fair to say the men have a bit of catching up to do, and of course they want to make an impression, Stuart, having missed out on the last World Cup in Russia. Well, they do need to make an impression in this World Cup, particularly in this game against Wales. If they can win this, they'll be in a great position. I don't think they're going to get anything out of England, and then it all comes down to the last game against Iran. They should qualify, but it is going to be tough for them. McKenney. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now, options are plenty. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Walker Zimmerman given away by Pulisic and just narrowly wide well it's a good effort from that range but I think the keeper had it covered Serginho Dest Adams Brendan Aronson Kenny, the supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Trying to deliver it accurately. What terrific defending to stop them progressing. Adams. Can he do it to take the lead? And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Yes. Aronson. Robinson Jesus Ferreira McKenney Will it be? And with that they thwarted the opportunity McKenney And he takes it on Couldn't grab hold of it Pounds away by the keeper chance for him on the flank and Bale prepared to fire well, not on the target space was at a premium though Jesus Ferreira Weston McKenney unable to keep the ball
Bale. Ramsey has it. And back with Bale. Weston McKenney. It's way up on the ball. And they stopped them in their tracks. Gareth Bale. Aronson. They've given it away. Serginio Dest. Tyler Adams. Ferreira. A well, potential danger. Timothy Weah. Could be troublesome. Way up. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. Ramsey. Williams. Ramsey has it. Bale. An awful lot of green space to run into. He got in the way of that cross. And with that, the attack fizzles out. In search of the equaliser. He just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Robinson. Plenty of options. Superbly read and executed. Brendan Aronson. Brennan Johnson. Joe Roden. Oh, the threat is there. Well, then there to tidy up. Pulisic. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. McKenney. Oh, moving it nicely. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Joe Allen. Ramsey has it. Bale. Read it superbly to take back possession. Superb effort to keep it in. Adams, and it's with McKenney into the advanced position. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Gareth Bale. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, it's unable to make anything of the cross. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Brendan Aronson and it's with McKenney We're showing good defensive judgment Pulisic Ferreira one minute of stoppage time has been added on having won the ball back they might be able to profit So the whistle then, we're up the halfway step. And so the match is underway.
given away by Pulisic. So back underway here into the second half. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Bale. Just cutting off the supply. Gareth Bale. And it's with McKenney. Aronson. Plenty of support here. A fine reading of the situation. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And offside. Well, close one. Aronson. Good technique displayed. McKenney. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And a good looking ball. Dan James. The outcome is a goal kick here. And they're making a change. Pulisic. He's going forward well here. Can't miss, surely. Determined defending. Joe Allen. And support available. Chance to reduce the arrears. Oh, right in the nick of time. Aronson. Pulisic. goalkeeping well it's a top class save from a top class goalkeeper that's absolutely brilliant and the substitution will occur now can he deliver it with accuracy and clearing his away well the supporters think it's on and there it is three goals in front now an immense performance well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Three goals without reply. Bale. Gareth Bale. Wilson. And he read it well, intercepting it. Number 14, Christian Roldan. Pulisic. He's beaten his man. Well, a chip that went awry. Well, maybe it was the right option, but his technique let him down there. Moore. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now can they counter clinically? And 
And Ramsey. And winning it back. Twenty minutes to go in this one. He has teammates around him. Nicely timed tackle. This is looking threatening. And giving the ball away. He needed to get there and did. But still the possibility. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Pulisic. Aronson. Ferreira. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, on the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And a fine tackle. And failure to keep the ball by Wales. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Dangerous looking through ball. Dan James. Superb block. He's in behind. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Now well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Straight forward for the keeper. And a timely intervention. There's a slide draw pass. Nicely blocked. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Oh, great header. Smart stop though. It's one corner after another. Who can they pick out? Found wanting a bit with that delivery. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench, who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. Oh, did so well to deny him. Can he deliver it with accuracy? No one able to do any damage with it. Well, he could run onto it here. But he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long. And that's why it's offside. Timothy Weyer. And whipped into the box. Corner awarded. And the problem not completely solved. And I think the threat has been averted. Counter-attacking, very much an option. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Aronson. Ferreira. Might be able to set up the chance. Flag raised for offside.
and the final whistle is sounded. It is a win for the McKenney. Body rock, y'all. The legs rock, y'all. Non-stop, y'all. To the beat, y'all. The body rock.